We move our bodies by shortening or contracting our muscles. Let's take a closer look. A muscle consists of parallel muscle fibers. Each fiber is a single cell in close contact with a motor neuron. Each muscle cell contains bundles of parallel myofibrils, shown in red, surrounded by endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. An action potential traveling down a motor neuron initiates an action potential in the muscle cell. The action potential spreads along the membrane and down tubules that extend into the cytoplasm, causing the myofibrils to contract. Each myofibril consists of a series of sarcomeres arranged end to end. The sarcomere is the contractile unit of muscle. Each sarcomere consists of thick filaments of myosin, shown in purple, and thin filaments of actin, shown in orange. A sarcomere contracts when its actin filaments slide past its myosin filaments. Contraction shortens the sarcomere, but does not change the length of the actin or myosin filaments. The myosin filaments have heads that bind and pull actin repeatedly, shortening the sarcomere. How do the myosin heads pull actin? In a relaxed muscle, the myosin binding sites on actin are blocked by a protein complex, and ADP and phosphate are bound to each myosin head. An action potential causes the ER to release calcium ions, which bind to the protein complex, causing it to shift and expose the myosin binding sites. The myosin head binds to actin. When ADP and phosphate are released, the myosin head bends, pulling the actin. This is called the power stroke. Next, ATP binds to the myosin head, causing it to detach from actin. When the ATP is broken down to ADP and phosphate, the myosin head extends. The sequence repeats as long as calcium ions are present. Bind, power stroke, detach, extend. The combined work of many myosin heads causes the actin filaments to slide past the myosin filaments. When the action potentials stop, calcium ions are pumped back into the ER, the myosin binding sites on actin are again blocked, and the muscle relaxes. During muscle contraction, actin filaments are pulled toward the center of the sarcomere. The simultaneous contraction of the sarcomeres shortens the myofibrils, and the entire muscle cell contracts. This is how a muscle cell responds to action potentials in the motor neuron. When many muscle cells contract together, the result is movement.